I'd love to hear the moment you heard first about Troll Hunters. So it was a. I went to uh, Guillermo's house uh, to pitch uh, one of the ideas that I had, and this is a bleak house. It's kind of like crazy mansion with, you know, again like crazy libraries and crazy prof, like all the toys and stuff that he has, and. Uh, I kind of like, you know, pitched an idea to him that, uh, and in, in his, I'll say, I think I remember like it was the horror room. So again, he had like Lovecraft, life-size statue of Lovecraft and Poe sitting. So it was really funny because I pitched into Guillermo, but at the same time I felt like I was pitching oh, to Lovecraft. Oh, you're being judged. Yeah. You're being judged. <laughs> so again, after that uh, pitch, he, again, he, he liked the short that I did and he was like, you know, he told me, because I'm from Spain originally, he said like, vente cabron, that is like, that is something I couldn't say no. So after 10 years at Pixar, like, really made me just embark on this crazy adventure and create this, again, I think, amazing show that we, with Mark and, and Guillermo, you know? Yeah. Um, I actually got a, an incoming call from uh, DreamWorks. Uh, they, they called my feature agent because we, we started this project as a movie and they you know, all they really had to do was say Guillermo del Toro and, and I was in. So uh, it, was, it was a pretty easy decision. Well, the thing is, he's got such an iconic brand yeah. and, and when he releases something new, especially something like this, which is right in his comfort zone, yeah. um, there's an obligation to continue that and, and to appease his fans, but also this seems to tap into new, new Guillermo. So like, what new side of Guillermo are we seeing here? Well, the, the one that he loves animation. He's a big fan of animation. He, he he's always wanted to do a project in you know managing a lot of the tone, but also like making it like something that appeals to kids and make it fun. Uh, so it's something that you know when he came with with uh, that idea to us, and and you know I'm on board mostly because it's a tone that is hard to get these days in, in feature animation or in other mediums. Is that idea of like dark, balancing the dark and the fun through the kid's perspective and the kid's eyes, and uh, discovering, again, what a world that only Guillermo del Toro can create in the screen. You know? Yeah. yeah, I think you know. I think Guillermo's you know voice as a writer and a director and a creator. Uh, everyone sort of thinks of you know the Pan's Labyrinth, sort of the creepy you know Crimson Peak sort of Guillermo. Um, and that's there's certainly elements of that in Troll Hunters. It's it's got its dark, spooky moments. But uh, one thing that is so great about Guillermo's voice is he's actually very funny. His, his you know his voice tends towards humor, and um, we get a chance to do a lot of that uh, here with Troll Hunters.